Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we are doing a makeup challenge and for once, I am honestly really, really excited for this solely because I know already that this is going to be a huge disaster. <laughs> a few days ago, I was filming a TikTok as I normally do. If you do not follow me on there, what are you doing? Head on over. It's a good, fun and fresh time. And there's a trend going on right now where you have to do a video using like a face distorting filter. And I was getting so annoyed because I kept having to redo the same take over and over and over again because I literally could not see my face and what I was actually filming. And I thought to myself, oh my God, this would be such a crazy YouTube challenge. Taking away my ability to see myself, like, it's game over. I always have a mirror on the side of the screen where I can see myself up close. And then I also have a really big TV monitor right here in front of my setup so I can see what it looks like on camera. But in today's video, the mirror is gone, the monitor is gone, and I'm gonna have to do my full face of makeup using only face distorting TikTok filters to see myself. All right, you guys, I am so excited to get into this makeup challenge today. I know that y'all love watching me struggle, so choo-choo all aboard the... Oh, I was gonna say all aboard the struggle bus. <laughs> Jesus. What does a bus do, huh? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. <laughs> Just wanted to give a quick clarification as well. I'm not the first person to do this challenge. I know a few other people have done it before me, Sylvia Ghani being one of them. I'm not sure exactly who started it, but I do know that when everybody does this video, they kind of do like one filter throughout the entire thing. But we thought it would be really fun to spice it up a little bit and switch filters between every single step uh, just to mess me up even more, so. Okay, James. <laughs> oh. I can still see the reflection of that monitor in the glass. Oh, we're covering that too. <laughs> Then you guys are gonna be able to see what we're actually filming. That's uh, fine. Oh. No. He really thought. He really thought. I love this filter. This filter is so. <laughs> this filter is so funny to me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I want makeup. Put on makeup. Please don't insert that. No. I'm just gonna grab my one size beauty secure the blur primer. This is a new primer. Oh my god, my fingers look like they're being broken. <laughs> okay, and next we're gonna use our foundation, which is of course gonna be <laughs> brought this way, Matt. Oh wow, this is such a fun component. Oh, I'm gonna turn off the beauty filter. Oh yeah, there she goes. TikTok's filters also have like a beauty option where you can like smooth your skin and make it look look more of a gorgeous color, which to me personally, I live for when I'm filming my videos, just to help give me that like gorgeous little look. But when it comes to this, it's gonna be really hard. <laughs> I can't tell where my foundation is. This is honestly kind of like the no mirror makeup challenge. Like I'm just kind of have to really like use my senses and muscle memory to see where I put things. <laughs> I can't even believe this is real. It's so funny looking. Now it is finally time for a wee bit of concealer. Let's grab some little tart shape tape and I have two different colors. Just gonna mix them together a little bit. Oh God, okay. It's really weird doing this because I'm looking at myself like in my phone obviously, but where I'm putting the product is not exactly where it's ending up. I pull that out first. Bro, you be like a my hands look mangled. I think my base is all on. Mort. What? <laughs> Mort, I think my base is all on. <laughs> hey, Julian. Yes, Mort. I think my makeup is done. <laughs> okay, Mort, let's move on to the next. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, okay, what's next, what's next? I sent you for powder, contour, and bronzer, the waterfall effect. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> this is so entertaining, it's ridiculous. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of setting powder on my little powder puff, and we're just gonna put it right in place. This one I feel like is easy, because there's no like really rhyme or reason to powdering, you just kind of have to get it everywhere, so. This literally looks like somebody put me in like a freaking wood chipper machine and spat me out. Okay. Pretty good. Okay, you guys, so our next step is going to be contouring. I think we're actually gonna tap the screen so it. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Oh! Gonna grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills little contour kit. This filter is crazy, but it's not that hard to actually do makeup with. Put it on the cheekbone, just really blending that up a little bit. 
A little bit of jaw contour. I don't even need to look for this one. <coughs> Oops, I could feel that, that was a little bit harsh. And I'm just finally grabbing a little bit of bronzer. Oops. <laughs> just grabbing a little bit of bronzer, just to add some color to my face. Nothing crazy. I'll add us a few more steps with this filter. I think pretty much all complete. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so for blush and highlight, I'm gonna use the filter Wacky Mirror. Okay, okay. Time for some blush and highlighter. So for blush, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. Let's just dip into her. The one thing that I am a little bit scared for is that I feel like um, the phone camera always tends to soften up like colors and makeup a little bit. Whereas in the mirror, obviously you can really see how intense or textured or crazy or unblended something looks. So I'm really scared that I'm gonna be like, oh my God, this isn't even looking that bad in my phone. But then all of a sudden when I look in the mirror at the end of this video, I'm gonna be a little spooked. Now let's do a little bit of highlighter. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this highlighter right on my cheekbone. There's a mirror in this component and it's really taking me everything to not look. Did I just say component? Yeah. I meant product. I mean, yeah. same thing. I think it looks pretty good. So now finally, we're just gonna do a little bit of a nose highlight and then that'll be, oh gosh. So for the next few steps, we're gonna be using the Psychedelic Clown <laughs> filter, which is going crazy viral on TikTok right now. What steps am I doing with this one, Lewis? We're gonna make you do the eyebrows, the eyeshadow, and the liner. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can I can see the eyebrows through this filter, so that will be good. But I can't even, the colors are so yeah. fast, I don't even know if I can do the eyeshadow. Let's go ahead and just grab our little brow powder and get our brows on. Just gonna brush them upwards and then fill these in. This is actually gonna be pretty easy because I can see the brows even through the filter, which is good because this would honestly be the step that I'd be most concerned for. Like, ah! That's like a oh! I mean, I can say that the shape is correct, or like sort of, a little bit, maybe, kind of. And I think they look pretty good. Time for eyeshadow. Let's see. Oh God, do I try to do like a colorful look? Not exactly sure what I want to do, but I'm of course going to grab the James Charles X Morphe palette. You can use code James for 10% off your purchase. What do I want to do? It's really hard to see the actual colors with this filter is really the problem here. Oh my gosh, should I try to recreate this filter with eyeshadow, like a rainbow bullseye? <gasps> Would that be cool? I know that it's honestly gonna look pretty bad, but I'm just gonna try it anyway. Okay, let me grab a little brush like this, a little bullet brush. I guess I'll start off with purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. Just grab a little bit of purple and I'm just gonna, oh God, this is gonna be really. <laughs> Blend that out a little bit. Beautiful. Okay, same thing on the other eye. Oh my God, I'm crying. I'm just so emotional. <laughs> Right. So then next I need a little bit of blue. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend some Playground and Brother on top of this purple. <laughs> How's it looking? Great. <laughs> oh, work. Normally I like to focus obviously on one eye and get it perfect and then move on to the other one off camera. However, I really feel like I need to do both at the same time with this type of intricate, detailed, beautiful, stunning, talented. Amazing, show-stopping. Makeup look. Now that we have the blue all on there, it's gonna be time to now go in with the green. Now after green, it comes a gorgeous little yellow. These colors are getting really low. I can definitely feel that on my face. And now we're gonna do some orange. <laughs> I'm so scared. Everyone in the room is looking at me like. I'm trying to get the filter to leave for a second so I can see what's going on. No. So I think we're pretty much done now. I got all the colors on. I can't really see what they look like. Um, and I don't think it's gonna look good. <laughs> I did try my best to really put the colors where I thought that they should be. And um, I think that that's really the best that we can do in this situation. So I think it's time to call it quits on the eyeshadow and move on to uh, the next steps of this makeup routine. Our next step is going to be our mascara and lashes. So we're gonna apply the filter Warped World to do this. Oh my God, I, this is gonna probably show me my eyeshadow kind of, let's see. So we're just gonna do a little bit of mascara. <laughs> okay. If I zoom.
assume this? Does it show? Oh. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> I got it on. Okay. So now for time for, oh. Whoa. <laughs> now for time for lashes. Oh God, I can't really tell where my eyelash is. I will never understand how some people are able to fully put on their eyelashes without looking in the mirror. That is one skill that I just truly can't imagine ever being able to grasp. Like, huh? I struggle with putting on my eyelashes even in front of a mirror when I'm literally looking at everything that I'm doing. Okay, let's do this lash now. I think my lashes are on. They feel like they're on and secure, but I really can't tell with this filter, if I'm being honest. Okay, so now it is finally time for our very last step of the routine, which is going to be our lippity doodahs. And for our lips, we're gonna be using the filter Head Shapes. <gasps> oh, you are kidding. Oh my God, it looks like freaking Phineas and Ferb. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm a square. Are you built like a fridge? Oh, a little circle. Let's grab a little liner. Okay, I already can tell that the lips are gonna look bad to be honest, but I honestly can't see how I could possibly fix them with this filter on. So I'm just gonna <laughs> apply a little lipstick and call it a day. Oh, I can tell that there's a little smudge right there. Let's see if I can actually try to fix that. <laughs> All right, you guys, and I think without further ado, with one final spritz of some Morphe Prep and Set setting spray, we can go ahead and stop the screen recording and <laughs> let's take a look at this look that we have created today without filters. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh no. Mm. Those under eyes go down. <laughs> I will say the actual, like the base, the foundation, concealer, powder, blush, contour, highlighter, all look, and brows, all look really good. Honestly, everything looks pretty good except for the, the eyeshadow. Let's do a little zoom in on this artistry that we have. Oh my God, I forgot red. I forgot to do red in the rainbow. I literally did purple, blue, green, oh, orange. No, oops. Wow, this is definitely the ugliest eyeshadow look that I've ever done. It's like the inside of a jawbreaker. <laughs> but not a good one, a stale jawbreaker. Overall, I had so much fun filming this video today. Oh my God. Although creating this look with these filters today didn't exactly come out Instagram worthy. Check that little, that was funny. Come on, give it, that was good. Creating the look with the filters wasn't Instagram worthy. Instagram filters. That was funny. Oh my God. Seeing my face with these filters on was literally just hilarious. I've been laughing for the past two hours straight. I have not laughed this hard in so long. And I really hope that you guys had equally as much fun watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and share your love and support. It really helps out the channel a lot. Also click that bigger subscribe button and come join the sisterhood and finally click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on a makeup journey, all my social media accounts are gonna be linked right here around the screen. And if you wanna text me on my phone number for updates on videos, photos, merch, and so much more, my number is 310-905-8746. This video, Sister Tata goes to Sister Ruby. Thank you so much, love, for always following and supporting. I love you so, so, so much. And if you would like to be the next video, Sister Shadow, don't forget to always read my video links when they go live on Twitter. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.